we have created seven course menu across the Middle East with exclusive ingredient which have flown in from Greece, Spain, Turkey, Morocco, Lebanon, Cyprus. Mm, this is delicious. I am relishing some amazing Middle Eastern food that too on this 24 karat gold Versace plate. This is Mumbai's most expensive private dining experience that costs one and a half lakh rupees for two people. Comes with great views of the gateway of India, the Arabian Sea and super fine hospitality. Ooh. You know, having a six-figure salary every month might be a big deal for many. But spending on a six-figure meal just in one evening? Well, that's definitely not a crazy steal. Today on this episode of Wanderlux, I am at the Ala Grand Taj Mahal Palace, Mumbai to savor a seven-course luxury dining experience that costs one lakh. 50,000 rupees for two people. Now, what makes this dining so exclusive? I am all ready to find out. Adding to the luxe experience, the Taj Mahal Palace in itself is a heritage luxury hotel which overlooks Mumbai's iconic gateway of India and is one of India's finest and original grand hotels in the world since the time of the British Raj and is also going to complete 120 years next year. Needless to say, the Taj has been frequented by many notable guests. Jawaharlal Nehru, Oprah Winfrey, Indra Nooyi, Barack Obama and many more established dignitaries that belong to the Billion Dollar Club. This place is for the elite. Let's get... Let's get... So I'm here at the Souk, a fine dining Mediterranean Middle Eastern restaurant on the 20th floor of the Taj Mahal Tower. And tucked away from the main restaurant is a private balcony where my intimate candlelit dinner will be held. It's called the Casablanca. It means White House in Arabic and is the largest city in Morocco. Oh, and I am welcomed with a red carpet and red roses that leads me to the Casablanca. And I am going to be pampered with a seven course Middle Eastern feast. Unlimited time, unlimited food, just me and you. Wow, this is lovely. I have come in right before dinner time just to capture this gorgeous vibe. The blue sky, endless vistas of the Arabian Sea and a view of the iconic gateway of India right from the top of here while I am seated dining right here. Absolutely luxe. The private dining space is compact and cozy right next to the interactive kitchen where you can watch the chef live while he is preparing your meal. Now you might be wondering why would anybody want to spend so much money on food? Well guess what? People actually do. This isn't just regular fine dining. This my friends is exclusive luxury dining which comes with the best of the best. Starting with popping a vintage bottle of champagne that would otherwise cost you 40,000 rupees in a restaurant is now being served to me as part of my private dining experience. I get a personal butler and a private chef who's going to be preparing my seven course meal. Oh, which by the way, I get to customize from over 30 different dishes comprising of veg and non-veg options. Now, if you thought that the food was grand, well, check this out. Designer cutlery from the house of Versace and Christoffel. I mean, a fork and knife alone would cost me half the price of this entire meal. Hello, chef. Good evening, ma'am. Welcome to Casablanca, the chef's table at the Taj Mahal Palace, Mumbai. Thank you so much. Uh, my team and we have created a seven course menu across the Middle East with exclusive ingredient which have flown in from Greece, Spain, Turkey, Morocco, Lebanon, wow. Cyprus and we are ready for and excited to serve you. I'm absolutely delighted for this Middle Eastern feast. Bring it on. <laughs> 
The exquisite seven-course luxury dining experience starts off with an amuse, typically known as a mouth amusement before the main dining. And the first course consists of a cold meze with traditional Middle Eastern dishes like the traditional hummus, where the tahini comes from Beirut and the chickpeas comes from Turkey, along with a labneh with avocado, muthabal and mahmara. Proceeding to the hot meze, which comes with authentic Middle Eastern delicacies whose names are rather not pronounced, but is absolutely delicious. The soup harira and a cheese pide, and I can definitely say it's an ala grand Middle Eastern feast. Well, I don't have a romantic date, but that's okay because I get to talk to you guys anyway. Moving on to the next course, which is a grilled halloumi that the Middle East is known for, with a sauté of varied mixed vegetables and cheese. This is also one of the differences between fine dining and luxury dining that every course you're going to be served with a new set of cutlery and sometimes different beverages depending on the course you're served. The beverage list starts with a vintage bottle of champagne, a cocktail of your choice along with a premium white wine and red wine which is all unlimited. Next up is a cold and refreshing guava peri peri sorbet for a perfect palate cleanser. Coming down to the mains, which is the sixth course, I opted for their best lamb tagine and souk pilaf, which consists of Egyptian rice and a traditional stew preparation, which is slow cooked for four hours to pack in all the flavors. Coming down to the seventh course, which is the desserts, consisting of a Middle Eastern style chocolate cigar and Taj's best baklava, the omali, and a rose petal ice cream to go along with it. Ending my time with a hot cup of Moroccan tea. Well, I must say, this was one big, hearty and lip-smacking Middle Eastern feast that the plushest of the plush get to spend on. And I'm happy that I could even get a feast and a bite of this indulgence. The food, great views, beverages, hospitality and the entire vibe in itself was an elixir. And I'm sure I'm going to sleep like a baby after this hearty feast. If you have any more such Lux experiences in mind, do let us know in the comments below. Until then, it's your girl Bianca. So Rashri, I'll see you soon. Good night.